influencers point out problems with band training. And for the most part, they're correct. One of the problems is there's just not enough tension, you know, at the top. And this is the most important position for strength. But if it's not relevant, you know, for strength gain, which should be a lot more than what you normally lift, uh, that's a problem. But the bigger problem also, or other problem, is here I'm at the bottom. You can see this. there's no tension on the band. So this is an important position, the stretch position of muscle for triggering growth. So you want to make sure tension is on muscle. Now, X3 was designed to solve both of those problems. And fortunately, we have the force bar now, so you can see the data. You can see as I, in, in the stretched position of the exercise, so my arms are lengthened, it's about 100 pounds. So I definitely have tension at the bottom. And as I come to the top, we're at like 170 pounds. Now, I'm going to do repetitions until I can't get to the top. This is something we call diminishing range. And what it really is, is length and partial. So once I can't get to the top, I shorten the repetitions. So I'm just doing repetitions in the range of motion that I can get to, which puts extra emphasis on the stretched portion of the movement, thereby guaranteeing much more growth.